Hey everyone, what's going on? Surrounding 951. I'm here to do a little um little video on my video on my on my figures for my video, you know, you know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like another update video, but I'm not going to call it that. So, these were the figures I was talking about. They actually came a lot sooner than I thought. I, I didn't know the seller was also um we live in the same state basically. So, shipping was like next day. Um, I have some very rare figures here. Um, as you guys know, I love collecting my rare figures and you just can't pass these figures up when you see them. I mean, sometimes you might have to because obviously, you know, price-wise they're not very cheap. But see, I'm trying to think. How did I even get them? Oh yeah, my payday. <laughs> my payday was my payday was last Wednesday. No, it was the it was the Wednesday before. And um my bad. I'm, I'm kind of looking for some earphones right now. Yeah, but uh had had some payday money left and I wasn't too sure what I want to do with it. And uh, the seller came up with this uh the blue gog. I'll just turn off the light cuz we're getting too much glare from it. Yeah, the seller had a blue gog up for sale. And I was like, "Damn!" Like like I don't know, you know me, like when I see the figures, I just got to get them. He so he had a blue gog up for sale. Um it was for 49.99 bid or buy it now for like 90 bucks. And uh, you know me, um I like to usually hit like um contact the sellers and try to negotiate. And uh we made a deal. Um, I did 70 for the, the submarine GOG, which is pretty fair for a brand new box with GOG. I mean, for some, for, um, some other collectors, you know, they may say it's a lot or they may say it's a good deal or they just must say it's a whatever, you know, but, um, you know, like I said, blue GOGs, probably one of the toughest, um, not toughest, but one of the more harder to find MSIA, um, figures due to the rare color variation, due to only being released as American release. And, you know, the American release figures, they go to other, um, countries as American releases, but, um, nonetheless, there was no Japanese release basically. So, um, limited to only sort of the American release MSIA line. Um, and they're just really hard to find for some reason. So I have this one brand new in box. Now the boxes aren't, they're in good, they're in decent condition, but they're not in very good condition. This box has like, it's kind of already separating from the card. You can see right here. So I could basically put my whole finger in there. I'm trying to debate whether I should open this thing or not. I think I might, uh, I'll have to think about it, but I, I, I might plan on boxing it. Maybe not. Cause I really don't have any room up there on my shelf, honestly. So I think I might just keep him in the box for now, and then maybe later on I'll do an unboxing. But right now he's not he's not on my priority list for unboxing. But there is a couple that are. So let's take a look at the ones. So let's take a look at this Desert Goof first. You can see this Desert Goof is almost exactly the same as my last desert goof i got from pkl we got like a very good mince box the box is in you know it's in pretty straight condition the only thing is uh um the box is more yellowed on around the sides and it's got um a nasty piss yellow um protecting the figure so this is going to be you know unboxed for sure um my last desert goof the pkl one i um i sent to adrian um about like two weeks ago two and a half weeks ago maybe two weeks ago max and um i traded that for the full armor that he gave me and i was very happy you can't see him from here but he's like he's over there on the shelf so yeah i was very happy with that trade from adrian the full armor for desert goof because I've, I've been wanting a full armor for a while and i'm very happy to get one um oops Damn. So uh, yeah, so um, got myself a desert goof. I'm gonna be a box unboxing this one soon. You can see nasty pissed yellow plastic. It just looks gross, and uh, I love unboxing my figures. Now this one is gonna be a very guilt-free unboxing. Um, seller, this. By the way, if you want to contact the seller, um, he has a couple um uh, listings on eBay right now. His name is, it's Dash, no space, Gundam, then Dash. So Dash, Gundam, Dash. And uh, he has a real type gun cannon up for bid right now. I think it's going for $49.99. Um, really cool seller. I, I mean, I trust him. I did, uh, I did a couple, uh, PayPal transactions because, um, you know, sometimes, uh, I mean, eBay's, don't get me wrong. I love eBay. I, I appreciate, um, that, you know, 
with without places like eBay, you know, there there is no um, way for. I would say that, like, honestly, the biggest way for the MSI community, or the um, the, probably the best way it's been able to expand and get so popular and you know resurrect these ten plus year old figures, is because of eBay. You know, I mean, that's where that's where I buy like ninety percent of my my figures. And then um, if it's not from there, you know, I usually contact sellers through eBay, you know, then we do some other stuff. And then uh, from there we go PayPal, just straight PayPal transactions. Now, yes, um, it can be risky. Um, definitely, you want to try to get a feel for the seller. You want to make sure you could trust them. Um, I usually, usually these sellers that um, deal with the MSIAs or with um, any kind of MSIA, um, it could be from like a, a person who's a collector of them or it could just be some random pawn shop guy that has, you know, these in his pawn shop. Well, you just want to make sure they have some good feedback. You want to kind of establish some sort of trust in between. Then from there, you could be like, well, you know what? Um, I know at at the price I want it for, you won't be able to give it to me. But if I could do straight PayPal with you, you know, possibly. And that's usually what happens with me. I, I um. There's some there's some sellers that don't mind doing the the eBay transactions because you know um, they appreciate eBay just as well. So uh, I mean, for me, for me, I usually try to do PayPal transactions as an incentive towards sellers because um, the tax or fees from eBay fees to PayPal fees is totally different. I mean. Uh, I literally like okay. Let me just give you an estimate for the desert goof I got for thirty five, and the um, and the uh, submarine gog I paid seventy five or seventy ish. The total came out to one fifteen with the shipping included. And when I did that transaction with him, I did I did the the PayPal transaction. What happens is you could do PayPal transaction as pay for goods or services, or you could do PayPal transaction, um, send money to friends. So I did the one for goods and services. So I could kind of get like the, um, like a guarantee cause PayPal itself has its own kind of guarantee similar to the eBay money back guarantee, but then it's like, it has its different, um, um, kind of, I guess laws or little different, you know, things. And uh, I did that so, you know, I could have that kind of safety net, sort of, and um, so he could have my address. Now, what eBay does is usually it's like almost a 10% fee that they do. So say you sell something for 100 bucks, eBay fee is going to be like 10 bucks. Well, with the, um, paying 115 and doing the PayPal transaction, the cost only came out to 355 for the fee, so you can see why it's kind of a better incentive sometimes to offer straight PayPal. But again, you want to be able to trust the seller and make sure there is a um, there is a mutual trust and that you feel that you could trust the seller that he will ship the item. I mean, uh, it could be very risky. Uh, I, I would say kind of avoid. Um, I would say try to avoid like like oversee PayPal. I mean, it's up to you, but I feel like with oversee PayPal transactions, it's really sketchy. I mean, it's it's going to be hard to get in contact with the, the seller. Um, shipping times are going to take extremely long depending on what kind of shipping you do. Most likely it's going to be the cheapest shipping because anything like EMS or like Express, you know, it, it's going to cost you, I would say, $15 plus, you know. It's just oversee shipping is this it's extremely expensive so uh, that's just my um personal opinion i mean some people may do it all the time and there's no problems uh, again you have to kind of develop a trust with the seller first and uh, that's just me but yeah so all that aside um i got the desert go for 35 got the um real type gun tank for 35 um what happened was i got this 35 uh, 70 and then shipping and then uh, I told I was I was telling the seller I was looking for some rollout colors and some desert camel zakus at the moment he does have I believe two or three desert camel zakus so if you guys want to hit him up go ahead um, I would love to try to buy him but I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be a little short on cash so I mean you know that's it's just me but um Let's get back to this gun tank. Um, gun tank, like brand new in box, um, and it is brand new in box. However, the even though it's kind of minty look, you know, it looks pretty mint. Not mint, but it looks you know pretty decent. No, really, hardly anywhere at the edges or anything. Um, 
the plastic's kind of not that good and <laughs> it's kind of semi already detached from the card so uh, you can see i could put my whole hand in there so i will be doing an unboxing on this bad boy and yes i do have my own real type gun tank brand new mint in box which is a uh, i have it stored away but now i'm gonna be able to have a loose one which i'm very happy because i've been wanting a well not it's not that i've been wanting a gun tank but i i really like would like to have a loose gun tank and having a real type gun tank which has a sexy color scheme so you know 10 times better you know um another thing if you guys are interested mr peak hiel's vintage toy chest i just put the mr in front um basically peak hiel's vintage toy chest um if you guys don't follow him or if you guys know about him but you guys haven't been on ebay um he's posted some more msi up for auction he has this one um brand new in box um mint full armor gundam fa78 up for, up for auction um, I believe the bid right now is at 16 bucks, and he has like a he has a deluxe Magella set, and I was going to think about it, but I think um, it's kind of missing too many pieces for me. Um, he has two Magwinots Magwinox up as well for auction, but they're both missing their um, little axes. and uh, he has like a bunch of other stuff too. And I think he's going to be posting even more stuff tomorrow. Um, tomorrow on, uh, Tuesday, April 7th. Yeah, April 7th. So, I mean, I just want to give you a little update video. I, um, I, I'm waiting on two figures that I've, I, like, I told you guys I've been waiting on them. Um, Peak Isle sent them there. I thought they were going to be here today, but they're going to be here tomorrow. Hopefully, most likely. They're already, like, nearby in, uh, in the state. I mean, they're in the state already. They're, like, nearby, like, where I live, so... He shipped them via FedEx or UPS or something, so they should be here by um by tomorrow. And uh, yeah, and uh, I'll probably after this video is uploaded, I'll probably do the unboxing of the real type gun tank slash review, <laughs> uh, and then tomorrow I'll do the unboxing of the Goof Desert, and um and I'll probably do a little video of the of the figures I get from PKL tomorrow as well. So it's gonna be a pretty um pretty good week to be doing reviews. Pretty happy. It's been a while. And uh, it's going to be able to unbox a new figure tonight. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I hope to see you guys on my next video. So until then, peace.